A hearty welcome to all of you. In this video, we are about to see about how to write the background of the study in a research work. Now, the very first thing we have to see the related works means what are the key studies carried out in the concerned topic of research or what is the literature available and how it has been done in the previous works. We have to make a note of all those points in a clear picture such that we can have what is the keywords for our work. Later, we have to identify the gap of our research concept or topic. It might be like identifying the unknown variables or unknown things in our work or identifying the problem as well as stating the problem, what has to be done and what is it and how to solve it like that we have to make you rough draft of the gap available in the research work with related to the literature available as seen in the very first step. Next one is reality means we should be aware about the reality of the topic on the ground level and it should be taken care that we are not exaggerating about the topic in other sense or taking it out of the box like it is not connected to the real world examples and also we have to be careful that there are no assumptions made such that our work might result in confused mode and confused results which might not be good for our research work and at the end we have to be very careful about the research objectives means these research objectives they might be specific as well as general and we, they should be stated very specifically like they are achievable and measurable in simple sense we should know what to expect to achieve with this research work and and also should know what is the impact of our research work in this research objectives itself it might be two or three research objectives will make the research work very good this is how we can frame the background of a study in any of the research works in a simple way. I hope this concept has helped you to understand how to write the background of the study.